Hello, this is a specimen that shows multiple organs. We are looking at the kidney, the liver, and the pancreas. We can appreciate grossly that they are all involved by the same gross pathological process, and that is the presence of numerous thin-walled cysts. Let's take a look at the kidney first. We can see these very thin-walled uh, translucent cysts involving the renal parenchyma, and in some of them there is a suggestion of blackish contents, which probably represents areas of hemorrhage. Uh, often these cysts grossly will contain clear or serous fluid, and sometimes uh, it can be bloodstained or turbid. Moving on to the liver, again we can see a similar appearance of multiple thin-walled cysts. Note that there are no solid areas that are protruding into the cyst lumina. And again, a similar gross pathology is noted in the pancreas. So this is an example of autosomal dominant adult polycystic kidney disease. And this polycystic kidney disease is usually due to mutations in the PKD gene. Uh, the gene can be found in different chromosomal locations, but these genes code for a protein known as polycystin. So some of them can be associated with polycystic diseases in the liver, as well as more rarely in the pancreas. Another important pathology that may be associated with this is the presence of intracranial berry aneurysms. And it's important to pick these up because the patients will be at risk for subarachnoid hemorrhage, which can potentially be fatal. There may also be cardiac abnormalities, such as mitral valve prolapse. In terms of renal function, often by the fourth to sixth decades, there may be progressive renal dysfunction and eventually renal failure. The renal function can actually be maintained quite well right up to middle age. In addition to presenting with a renal failure or renal insufficiency, occasionally there may be some abdominal pain because of hemorrhage into various cyst locules. So in summary, this is a case of autosomal dominant adult polycystic kidney disease, which also happens to be associated with polycystic diseases involving the liver as well as the pancreas.